Right, you, you're going to join me for the first bit of Citroen DS tinkering. I'm going to change the, the heater uh, control valve because it's constantly stuck on at the moment. So you, I can't really even take the car for a drive because it's, it's not super hot today, but it's, it's too hot to have the heater on full. So um, it's a pretty straightforward job, I hope. Uh, so let's crack on with that. Here's the new one, the new valve. Um, this has got wax in it. So it's a, it's a, like a thermostat, I think, that causes this to open and close. So it's kind of like an automatic um, open and closing. You set the heat on the car and then this kind of works the rest out. Clever stuff. Um, I think this goes in the, in the hot air flow. I'll show you where it is on the car. Uh, you can you can make out that that wire, which then sort of disappears down there. I think that must just go into the um into the vents. But I'll have a look when I pull it out. So it's just a case of disconnect the controls. Uh, two looks like two M8 nuts to hold it, and then just to just undo that pipe. I've got some appropriate number of towels to put around it, so let's see how we go. Right, let's whip this one off first. So it's a eight mil and a seven mil. That's that off. It's just a Prepare for some spillage. Let's see if that's going to play ball. Oh, I don't like the feel of that at all. That doesn't feel great. I'm going to get a bit of plus gas on that. It doesn't feel nice. No, it's not great. That now makes the job a whole lot bigger. Yeah, always one this side. Absolutely fine. Right, let's get that out of the way. No, let's get... Let's see if I can work out how this box comes out. There's a clip here, but it can't be... It can't surely be as easy as that. Huh, maybe it is. There we go. One Citroen DS. Heater matrix. Easy to get out, just a real shame that that bolt broke. So that's obviously how it sits in there. There's the offending, the offending stud. But let's see what we can do to get that out. I'm back in the shed. Let me show you my plan. We'll see if it works. I'm not holding out much hope, um, but it's something that. I can do. I'd like to keep this original heater matrix because it's in really good condition. But let me show you what I've got. In a vice supported by a couple of bits of wood so I don't squash it. There's the offending stud. It's soaking in plus gas. So I know my challenge is my own patience here. Um, and what I'm going to do is cut a slit in the top of this stud. Oh to get a screw in there. Uh, and that's my best plan so far. Uh, I'm not sure it'll work, but we'll have a, we'll give it a go. If not, it, this can go off to a guy I've used 
a radiator guy in Coventry, I'm sure he'll be able to maybe sweat that out and then I can get it drilled out. That's in there. There's not a lot of meat left in it. It's a good fit for the screwdriver. But I know what you're thinking, and you're thinking exactly what I'm thinking. That, that is just gonna twist off. No, no, no. I think that just pushed in the, um, I think that just pushed that in. Oh, that might be going. No, it's just twisting the top off. I've just I've just turned this and it's actually bitten quite well, so it's hard to tell if it's coming, but it may actually be coming out. It might be wishful thinking. Oh, I'd so love to say I think it's gonna come out, but I don't think it is. Right, I'm going to call that it for the day. I'm going to leave all this stuff here. I'm going to soak it in some of this. I'm going to try again tomorrow morning. Right, it's day two. I'm back in the shed to try and see if this, this nut will come out of my Citroen DS heater. Ah! Bollocks. There you go. It's just got worse. Right, I'm just on my way to collect the radiator heater matrix for the DS from J and J Radiators in Coventry. Uh, they are they've taken a useless one or two useless ones and made one good one by swapping over the plate that the heater valve sits on. Um, the fee for this is fifteen pounds, one five pounds. So it's um, it, you know the, the fuel for me to go and get it is probably going to cost me more than that, as I've chosen to go in the Range Rover, which I was just thinking when I jumped into it is is a when it's working, it's a haven of peace and tranquility, a little bit like the DS if you're not trying to drive it too fast. So. I was just thinking, if you want um, two classics in your life, then, oh my God, the potholes on this road are awful. Um, yeah, get a 322 Range Rover and a Citroen DS, because they're both very similar, e tranquil experiences. Okay. So what, so what have we got, Dave? So, I've left that one loose on there, just yeah. in case you- That was the one that I knackered yeah, it. Yeah, that's that. it. Yeah. And then that's great. And I have tested it off as well. Brilliant. So it's tested off and flushed it through, so it's okay. Yeah, well it, it was constantly being flushed through yeah. because it was it was the valve was knackered. So yeah, <laughs> brilliant, it. thank you. That's the DS heater matrix is ready for a refit. But before I refit it, I thought I'd see if I could work out how um how clogged up the one that I bought was. And I thought I'd weigh them. So have a look at this. Well, this Decent one, which I know is decent because it has water flowing through all the time. 700, well, 800 grams called that. This one, that was reportedly good, is another 50 grams heavier. 
So that has got 50 grams worth of crud inside it. So if you've got one of these and you get the water out and you want to know what sort of condition it's in, it should weigh about 800 grams if it's clear. There you are. I've put the valve back on. This, this foam around here is just to stop the hot air entering the cabin when you when you don't want hot air entering the cabin. So that's gone in pretty well, which is good. Not only have I got the retaining strap, but I've also got a the, uh, how old are we? 52 year old piece of um, felt or whatever it is that will go, I think, over, over there. Yeah, that looks all right, right? Which is exceptionally good for my OCD. Well, not that I have it, I don't think. Who knows? Oh, that's the <coughs> that's the matrix back in. Just got to split this pipe, put the inlet, I guess, back on here, and the outlet back on the on the valve end. And that should be that job done. Right, well, we've done a test ride in the D. Um, this is all working perfectly. There's no leaks from anywhere. So the heater is all done. Thanks for watching this short video. Well, probably longer than I was expecting video on uh, on fixing the D heater valve. Um, it's been a little bit of a journey, but all good fun. And join me again for the next piece of D mechanicing. See you soon.